Well, I have great memories of Kahari. Um, you know, the funny thing about him and his painted gold shoes, they weren't, it wasn't as though you could go buy gold shoes. He had painted them and had to continue painting them every game. Um, but it was so unlike Kahari, because he was one of the humblest guys you'd ever meet. But he was an artist, too. He uh, was an actor on campus and acted professionally a little bit even after, uh, after he got done at Davis, UC Davis. Um, and that was just him. He, he felt when he crossed the lines on the field that and not only was he a quarterback and football player and leader of the team, but he was an entertainer as well. And I can remember telling him, well, I tell you, I don't have a problem with you wearing gold shoes, but you better have game because people are going to be looking at you. And he certainly had game. So I have great memories of uh, Kahari and his gold shoes. You know, he was a very accurate thrower. Um, Kahari um, you know, just could spin the ball very consistently. Um, and I, you know he wasn't fast. If you ran Kahari in the 40, he wasn't fast. But he had that he had that great awareness in the pocket and great quickness. Um, and so you know he could he could move in the pocket to avoid uh, tacklers and uh, and avoid guys that might be able to just get a hand on him, get himself in a position to throw the ball. And then he wasn't afraid to get the ball up the field. And and actually was quite effective getting the ball up the field again because of his elusiveness, not so much the fact that he was really fast.